Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to debug a code using printf statements. When we write a program, we often make a lot of mistakes. We look at the code again and again, but we cannot find where we have done the mistake. So we can easily find those mistakes by using printf statements. Let us have a look at the simple code. Here I am reading two numbers from the user and returning the sum of those two numbers. Now I am printing a statement the returned number of times that is the result number of times okay let's see what happens when we execute this now if i have given uh, the numbers as 3 and 1 i get the printf statement four times now what will happen if i give two numbers such that their sum is equal to 0 for example minus 1 and 1 see we are not getting any output so we often make mistakes like this now I want the printf statement to be printed on the display it should it must be printed so what can I do here I can uh, either put a printf statement saying percentage D result this will print the result now if I give two numbers again as minus 1 and 1 now I know that the sum is equals to 0 so now I have found that as the sum is equals to 0 this for loop is not executed and I cannot print this statement now either I can tell the user that the number must be greater than 0 or I can put an if condition like if result is equal to is equals to 0 uh, print some statement as not a valid result and I can break the program exit the program or I can say the user to re-enter the values or we can continue with it now Now if we cannot find the problem in the code, we will be stuck at the same place. So for example, let's take this. If I have started debugging and I have entered two numbers as let's say 3 and minus 4. Again we have a problem because three, the sum of 3 and minus 4 gives as minus 1 and we cannot have minus 1 as a result because we are initializing i to 0 and the result is a positive number we cannot print a statement minus one number of times right we can only print a statement either one time two time and so on so we can also put here that result is less than 0 or we can directly say if result is less than 1 print that it is not a valid result now let's see what happens here now I have entered two numbers as 3 and minus 1 it gave, the output is 2 times as 3 plus minus 1 is equal to 2 now if I enter two numbers as 5 and minus 6 it has exited again why? what is the problem? now it is not actually an error in the code but we have to keep here get ch for the terminal to be displayed on the screen consistently now this would work like this see now we have not a valid result so we can either ask the user for a new input or we can exit the program now let's take a look at another example In this code, sorry, this program is same as uh, the program we have done for the sample test. We are giving an array as an input and we give a target number. The user has to return 
the sum the indexes of two numbers whose sum lead to the target number this code is hard coded hard coded for the example so let's see now i have given an array as 23 1 4 77 and 55 sorry and 5 the target is 9 so uh, as it is hard coded we know that the result should be 2 and 4 now i have wrote a small function to return the result let's see what happens here here the target number should be the sum of only two numbers so i am comparing each number of my expected result and my actual result now one of the element of the expected result is same as the actual result another element is not same hence it shows not a valid output so where did we, where did we do an error let's debug it using printf statements Now let's see. Now I get the value as 2 and 2. The actual required value is 2 and 4. So now let's go to the function that actually returns the resultant array. Let's see here. Now here we can identify that I have put the resultant array's first element, I mean the index of 1 as i this should be j now if i run the same program again it shows as valid output and valid output which is 2 and 4 i hope you, you have uh, understood how to use uh, printf statements for debugging i'll add a link in the description for more information thank you for watching